Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. Now, I do have a special, very, very special review for you guys today. Much like the Metal Robot Spirits, Bobatos, Barbatos, you know, Barbatos. I covered three of them, so one of those got to be right. But aside from the Rex, there's another newly released IBO Metal Robot Spirits figure that has recently come out. And I'm talking about none other than the Gundam Vidar. Now this, I knew it was coming out, and I really didn't pay attention to when, and all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, I'm on Amazon right now, and it's coming out tomorrow. And sure enough, I got it the day it came out, thanks to Amazon.jp. I, I love Amazon Japan, it's, it's fantastic. Now before we get into the core of the actual review, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to my boys over at NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to get some nice little figures of, you know, preferably this one of your own, or you want to get some other tools, supplies, some model kits, some other kind of plomo, go hit up their website, use that slash Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. And if they don't have this particular thing in, in like probably maybe the next couple months, don't worry guys. I'm gonna hound them for you because I hounded them for the Rex. I'm gonna hound them for this one as well. All right, so no need to look at the box. The box is cool, very beautiful looking box. What I want to show you guys is the figure in all of its glory. Honestly, mm -mm, masterful, beautiful, gorgeous, splendid. Um, immaculate, like every adjective, every word I can think of to describe the beauty of this figure. Honestly, that that's that's the one to use. Just use them all. Pretty, gorgeous. Just just use every single one because this right here, I am completely in love with. All right, so let's talk price. Honestly, uh, you're going to be finding it. Probably not for MSRP, at least not in, you know, if you're outside Japan or even outside like Korea, you're probably not finding it for the MSRP price, which is about 16,000 yen, you know, $160 USD. But you're probably going to be finding it closer between 18,000 yen and 20,000 yen. And sure enough, I had to get mine for 20,000 yen because that's what Amazon was selling it for. And everywhere else I was going online was already sold out. I don't even want to do the review anymore. I just want to like play with this toy. <laughs> All right, so let's talk details. There's a lot of great details on this figure, and it's not just in the form of like panel lines. There's a lot of just etched in parts, colored parts, such as the shoulders, you got stuff on the chest, the cockpit area, stuff on the front skirts. I mean, there's a lot of good looking things on this you know figure. Uh, also, there's a lot of markings. This is very uh, marking, not marking heavy, not like a Verka, but there are quite a bit markings all over this figure. And it looks great. It's very subtle. It's not truly in your face. It's it's kind of just more or less there. The one thing I could say is uh, there's a little bit of red on the black in terms of markings. I don't think that looks that great. I think uh, white on there, on the black would have looked a lot better, but what do I know? Now, there's going to be a lot of details within the actual metal frame itself, all the die cast parts. I mean, there is etched in detail, there's painted detail. Uh, some of it's obviously going to be plastic, but for the metal itself, I mean, you, you have a lot going on with it. And the metal is pretty much all over like the skeleton of this figure, which is fantastic. So um, I'm a happy camper when it comes to the heftiness because this is a very heavy, like one to 144 scale figure. It's, it's quite hefty. So I'm very happy with that because it is going to be able to hold poses really well. And uh, you'll see them throughout the video, all the different uh, poses that this figure can get put in. <laughs> Now, in terms of gimmicks, it does have the open cockpit. You know, that's that's basically all it really has. Uh, other gimmicks that you can really kind of like say is like uh, some of the stuff that's going to be happening with the weapons. You'll see a little bit later on with the uh, the different swords. Um, that's kind of like the the biggest thing. Now, you are going to have a lot of part swapping when it comes to the V fin with all the effect parts. I don't really consider that a gimmick per se, but it's just it's, it's accessories. Okay, let's talk articulation. Honestly, there's not anything I can really say that I haven't said on the Barbatos Lupus Rex. 
they're fairly identical when it comes to the range of articulation that these two figures have. Uh, and that just is because of the frames. The frames are essentially the same. I don't think there's any major difference uh, when it comes to what die cast is actually in this. It's just more or less all the plastic armor around it is what's different. So the range of movement this figure is going to have is nearly identical to Barbatos Lupus Rex. So I encourage you to go ahead and check out that video if you want to see a more detailed uh, analysis on the articulation. But for the most part, this is just quick slides of what it can do. Now for accessories, you are going to have different hands. You're going to have closed fists. You're going to have expressive open hands. You're going to have your sword holding hands, your trigger finger hands, and kind of like a palm like open hand. Now for V-Fins, you're going to have a normal V-Fin. You're going to have one that goes over to the left side of the head. You're going to have one that goes to the right. And then finally, you're going to have another one that goes to the right side. But it's going to be more like straightened out. You also get the base and it has like a wide range of articulation, which is really good. And the uh, overall details to the base looks fine. Now for weapons, it is going to have the Burst Saber. Looks really good, very beautiful weapon, fits in the hand perfectly. And I absolutely love that it has all six of these on the side that can actually be you know, stored in the, the little side skirts. And you can also take these back and then plug this into it and pull an extra saber out. Next you're gonna have is the 110 millimeter rifle. It looks good, the paint job is fine. It's gonna have a light gun metal as well as a gun metal paint job. Uh, it can also be stored on the side skirts, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, other than that, it just fits in the hand perfectly, gets some really good poses, and it looks, it looks nice, but I think it's just not that good looking on this particular suit. I, I think it just kinda like, mm, it's a little bit out of place to be honest. Now for the handguns, Man, these things look fantastic, I'm telling you guys. Just store them underneath the side skirts if you, if you really don't want to use them because they are kind of small, so you might lose them if they're not there. But if you're going to use them, put them in the hands, get some wicked poses out of it using the stand, and trust me, you're going to be quite satisfied. And the last weapons this figure is going to have is going to be the Hunter's Edge, in which you just pull out these knives underneath the feet, and you just go to town. I mean, they look good. So if you want to put it in like some crazy poses and, you know, just have them dashing all over with uh, all these like hooks coming out. I mean, it's going to look fantastic. And I'm always torn when it comes to posing this kit because I'm like, ultimately, there's going to be one pose that this kit is going to be in. And I'm like, what pose is that going to what is going to be? Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the, you know, the hunter's blades. Uh, because they are just really cool looking, they're very wicked, um, and it's just kind of unique when it comes to a lot of mobile suits. Some have like a dagger, like the crossbone has a dagger like in the foot. Um, I think one of the uh, Astray kits might have one. I think it's, I think it's Blue Frame, second L. Uh, so it's really cool to just see that continue with a figure like this, and it just looks good doing it. Now for height comparisons, it is a lot taller than your average high grade, so it is going to tower over the real grade RX-78-2, but it's not going to be taller than the Master Grade 3.0. So, I mean, it's a tall boy, not like a Master Grade tall boy, not a metal build tall boy, but he's a tall boy. Alright, so for my final thoughts. Guys, this right here, I'm telling you, one of the most satisfying figures to mess with. It feels really durable. So like when I'm putting in some pretty, you know, like stressful poses, I don't feel like it's about to just start breaking. It, it feels strong, like very sturdy. Something that I wish a lot of other figures in the world could be like. Because when I mess with this, I'm like, you know, it's a high-end collectible. I paid like $200 for this thing. I don't worry about anything breaking on this thing. Um, the joints are really tight, so keep that in mind. If you're gonna go ahead and bend the joints, I mean, maybe like loosen them up a little bit, uh, apply a little bit of heat, but I, I wouldn't like recommend doing anything crazy to it. I like, don't slab like, you know, some lube and all that in there. Just, uh, just kind of like work it, you know, just work it, make sure it's uh, kind of like a little bit loose before you start hyper extending all these elbows and knees and all that. Uh, but after just working it a little bit, it's fine. I have no issues with this figure whatsoever. It is a 100% cop it, my boys. 
But obviously, it's pretty expensive. So if it's in your budget, cop it. Maybe if you can afford to like not get some you know model kits, like, eh, man, I really want to get this, but I want to get these model kits, mm, I would recommend you try to get this before you get other type of Plamo, uh, mainly for the fact that this is going to be on a very rare list eventually. I think the Lupus Rex is already kind of like spiked up in market value uh, just because it's starting to get a little bit rarer uh, in the market. This is going to be the same case and probably even worse because I think this is a uh, more a fan favorite than the Lupus Rex. I could be wrong. I'm not really too familiar with uh, how the, the overall fandom appreciates the individual suits, but I know people are looking forward to this. I was looking forward to it and Honestly, guys, I, I'm i a very, very satisfied customer. This is going to go on the shelf right next to Lupus Rex, and I'm just, I'm cheesing, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm smiling all the time when I play with it. Um, poses are super dynamic and beautiful. So, hey, you're going to have a great time. I had a great time with it, and I hope some of these poses may have inspired some of you if you decide to get this, or if you have like the high grade of the uh, Full Mechanics 1 100. Maybe pose yours like some of the ones in the video. Otherwise, guys, that's it. I absolutely loved it. And I want to thank all the members because all of you guys are fantastic. And for following me in the Discord and talking with me, I mean, hey, I am living the best life with my members and all the people in the Discord. So uh, thank you all for uh, supporting me. And I'll be seeing you in the next Crow Sama video. Bye-bye.